Oh, I need to get a haircut. Um, it's Valentine's evening. I don't have a Valentine, so I'm gonna cook because I heard that guys like cooked meals, so I should learn how to cook something. So I'm gonna try a recipe that I saw online and it's barbecued um, cauliflower, like vegan barbecue chicken, I guess. So here we go. Take a cauliflower. I've set the oven, which is the ticking sound, if you can hear it. And now I'm going to make the batter, which um, I've never made before. So let's give it a go. Do you think that's like a, a cup? Uh, I don't know what a cup is because we don't use them in the UK. And I don't have any measuring things. So even if I transferred them, even if I converted them, I mean, to... Like grams, I wouldn't know. So I'm going to do it in like quantities. So it says for a cup and a half of um, our unsweetened almond milk, which I don't have, but I have soya milk. I'm going to use this one. So one. One and a half. One and a half soy milk, then one cup of flour. Let me check. Yeah, one cup of flour, which I'm now realizing I totally should have done um, first when this was dry, because now it's gonna be hard to get out. One cup of flour, some garlic powder. I'm gonna put in a lid full, because I like it. I don't know how much that is. Some salt. Some pepper. Mmm, I like pepper. And at this point, I'm supposed to add in paprika, which I've realized <coughs> I don't have. So <laughs> I'm gonna make it a bit spicier and use some sriracha if it focuses, if it focuses sriracha hot chili, okay just a bit that seems like a good amount so let's mix it okay to me this seems quite thin so I'm gonna add in a bit more um, flour let's just put in a little bit more to thicken it up. Okay, now we can do the fun part, which is cover the cauliflower in the batter. So, mm, I think I'll just put them in just a few at a time, because I have qu quite a lot. And I wanna make sure they get covered. By the way, I can really smell the um, the sriracha sauce. Oh, they look good. Well, I haven't done anything yet. Okay, now I'm gonna put these in my oven. This is my little Korean oven, which looks disgusting, but you know, it's as clean as I can get it. Put these in. Ooh. I'm excited, hold on. They smell okay. And I'm just gonna put this on. Yeah, I'll leave it on just over 200. And I'm supposed to put them in for 20 minutes. So I'll put them to 20. To 20, yeah. And let's see how they go. Come back in 20 minutes. Okay, it's now 10 minutes, so we have to take them out and flip them over. Take them. 
Okay. Okay, now that I flipped them over, I've realized that the batter was supposed to be as thin as it was and I shouldn't have thickened it because it's too thick and it's like made, it's gone kind of hard on the bottom. So yeah, that was my first mistake. But I'm gonna keep them in for 10 more minutes um, and then I'm gonna make the barbecue sauce and then cover them in the barbecue sauce and put them back in again. The oven just pinged, so now I'm gonna make this barbecue sauce and I'm supposed to heat this up first. So. Let's get it on a small heat. So here's the first cup. Nice. And then half a cup. Let me turn this down as low as it can go without switching off. Now I'm going to take these off. Oh. Take these off and dip them in the sauce. That's really hard to film, so I'm going to do them all now. Okay, they've been covered in the sauce. Now I'm going to put them back into the oven and I'll go in for um, maybe 30 minutes they're going in for 30 minutes I'll flip them over after 15 minutes then they'll be done so they're done let's take them out Sorry, my battery ran out. Um, I'll, I've eaten what I want to eat and I'll take the rest to work tomorrow. My final thoughts on the recipe are, <coughs> excuse me, the barbecue sauce is very, very salty and I didn't realize that I'm not a huge fan of barbecue sauce. I thought it would be sweeter for some reason. I think I was thinking of like a more sticky rib sauce, but I've had to make tea because it's so salty. Oh. Um, but the recipe is good. If you like barbecue sauce, I think it's definitely a really good one to try. Bear in mind, I'm the world's worst cook. So I enjoyed making it and now I'm tired from cooking. But I'm no closer to finding a husband because I still can't cook a decent meal. But I can cook some things that are good, but I can't cook anything that's like like romantic or elegant. I can cook like vegan chili or like lots of pasta dishes and things like that. But anyway, I'm one step closer to being the perfect house husband. Um, I hope you learned something for the video. I hope you learned from my mistakes and I'll see you next time.